everyone, Flora Sage here. So I'm running errands and wanted to make a really quick video today about our attitudes. <laughs> so I was recent, I just literally got done at the post office and I go to the post office at least once a week to mail uh, card decks that people buy, to mail certificates for the people that complete some of my classes, you know, some of like my certification classes. I send thank you notes every single month to all of my new members at the Institute. And so I go to the post office frequently and it's the holiday season. And so at the post office, things are getting a little bit busy. And it's interesting because I, I love going to the post office. I love talking to the, you know, I, I just love talking to the people in line, talking to the people there. Hi, Jason. And um, I just have a really good attitude when it, it, you know, comes to going into and mingling with the people there. Um, and the person in front of me was a little bit annoyed to say the least. <laughs> she was kind of throwing daggers via her eyes to everybody in the place. And of course, I try not to judge because, you know, maybe I don't know what type of day she has. I don't know what's going on in her life. But you could see that she was just not having a good day. And she was going <sighs> all the time. Uh, and then, um, and there was only one person working. And hi, Betty. Hi, Michelle. And it was very interesting, the dialogue that I heard her have with the person behind the counter. Now the person behind the counter, I talk with all the time. Like I see her at least once a week, like I said. So we've kind of gotten to know each other and it's just really amazing. It's just, she's just a really fun person. But the lady said when she walked up to the counter, she's like, every time I come in here, all you do is chit chat with people. I'm just tired of it. Every single time I come here, you chit chat. She just was going on and on and she repeated herself like three or four times. And the lady behind the counter was like, well, I'm sorry that you feel this way, you know, and she was trying to diffuse the anger of this other person. And so just going into the mindset of every time I go to the post office, there's going to be a long line. This lady's going to be chit chatty. It's going to take her a long time. Hi, Steve. Um, so she sets herself up to have a frustrating experience. For me, on the other hand, when I go in there, I set myself up, you know, with, hey, I don't care how long the line is. I know I'm not going to rush whenever I go to the post office. Sometimes there's a long line, sometimes not. But think about your day. Think about what your life is like, what your experiences are, where you go, who you're with. What is the attitude that you have or your viewpoint or your thought pattern about whatever it is that you're getting ready to do? If you're getting ready to go to Walmart or Target, how do those two places impact you? For Okay, so for those of you who are watching overseas, um, Target and Walmart are basically big box stores. They're one of those places where you literally can get pretty much everything under the sun at either of those places. However, the energy at Walmart versus Target is too, is very different. And so when you go to one of them, is your mindset different than when you go to the other? When you go to church, how is your mindset? When you go to a a Thanksgiving meal, when you go to um, a Christmas or solstice or Kwanzaa um, or, you know, Hanukkah meal, how is the energy? How are you viewing that before you even get there? Before you even get there. When you go to a funeral, how are you viewing it's going to be? How do you think it's going to be? So I really want you to just think about this because how we think about something, what, what we expect is what we're going to get, really. And you know, as a kid, my mom used to always say, fun is an attitude, not an activity. And I was like, whatever, you know, because of course I was going through that like phase where I just thought I just didn't want to do any of this stuff. And I find myself saying that to my kids as well. And it really is life, not just fun, but life is your, is, it's all about your attitude. It's all about how are you setting yourself up for the life that you want. If you want to have a really amazing life, start to look at life as amazing. As I was walking to and from the post office, I'm going, oh my God, it's freezing. As you can see, I'm all bundled up. <laughs> you know, this is like a down jacket that's good to like minus 40. But 
I set myself up so that when and if I do go outside when it's this cold and if I think it's like 23 or something like that um, I'm gonna be warm and I was thinking about the contrast because I love being warm I love the Sun I love the summer however it's cold and so I made myself not really made but I, I uh, encouraged myself <laughs> to say how can I find gratitude in this how can I find something that is really positive in this situation and I'm like I'm so grateful and thankful that I have this big thick jacket I'm so grateful and thankful that all the bugs are dying I'm so grateful and thankful that um, it's just such a big contrast from summer because when it's cold I can really feel um, how much I do appreciate it when it's warm and so that's one of the ways that you can start shifting your energy from you know thinking negative or feeling like something is a burden or feeling like something isn't really good into shifting to appreciation to gratitude so that all of a sudden you can start to say you know what this isn't that bad you know and that's just kind of all I have to say today is really how you think something is going to be is how it's going to be. And so if you want to change your reality, if you want to change your experiences, especially if you've noticed that just your experiences are getting crappier and crappier and crappier, okay, maybe look at your attitude, maybe look at your mindset and say, wait a minute, okay, how can I take responsibility for the life that I want? How can I start to shift my energy and how can I start to shift how I think about this person or this event or this place or doing this action or doing that action okay so that's all it takes is for you to just step outside of yourself and step outside of your ego and say wait a minute how can I see this differently how can I start to create my reality that I want to create I, I love having a really fun time so how can I find the fun in it how can I seek out the fun you know what I mean so that is my message for all of you today. Jason says, you go girl, preach. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Yay. Hi, Angie. Hi, Mohammed. Um, Jason says, I learned to say, let's just make this a wonderful day. Absolutely, freaking lootly. I love it. Um, Marlene said, Hi, Flora. How much snow did you get? I should have taken a picture. Ugh. It was literally, I think it was about this high. I don't even know how high this is. Maybe like five or six inches on um, my deck. And I didn't take a picture. And it warmed up in, at night. And it ended up all melting. And I was like, really? So there's no snow right now. Even though we just got dumped on the other day. It was so gorgeous. I loved it. If, okay, if it's going to be cold, there needs to be snow. That's my opinion. <laughs> but if it's not cold, I mean, if it's not snowing and it's cold, then that's fine. But for me, I just always um, match. If it's cold, there should be snow. You know what I mean? Um, Steve says, I always dread going into Wally World. Right. So, Steve, how can you make it a better experience? What you can do, I don't know if you know this, you can order online and have it ready for pickup for you for all the non-perishable stuff. I just discovered that the other day. So anytime I go, I do go to Walmart because there is low prices and I'm a single mom and my kids eat like their legs are hollow. <laughs> they eat a lot. And so I discovered that and I did it just the other day and I was like, Oh my God, I'm always going to do this. So you can order your, you can pre-order your stuff online on walmart.com. This is not an advertisement for Walmart. You can even do this at Target as well, but you order it online and you just have it ready for pickup and they let you know when it's ready and you go in, you walk in, you check out and it's all done for you. Like literally it's all checked out and they basically suspend the transaction. And so they just go, bloop. okay, there you go. Or you can prepay for it online. It's amazing. It's so awesome. Highly recommend it because while it just, yeah, big box stores, even Target. I love Target. Oh my gosh. I grew up up north here and this is where the home of Target is. Target to me feels a thousand times different than Walmart. Um, it's not good, bad, or indifferent. It just feels a thousand times different. And so, but of course also, um, just the people that go to both of those places are different. So anyway, how can you set yourself up to make it a little bit more of a better experience? When I go into Walmart, I use, because the, the energy to me is, is very kind of chaotic, a little bit prickly. And so I always put up a shield, 
like a, a big energy shield. I, I ground myself, I clear my energy before I go in, and I clear my energy when I go out. So that's how I can kind of set myself up for success <laughs> and to have a good time when I go into Walmart. But also, I go into it knowing I like the low prices, even though I know that, you know, in order for them to get their low prices, they had to kind of put some mom and pop businesses out of business. But in this area, people had to drive. There was no small, well, there was kind of a mom and pop um, grocery store, but that one is actually thriving more now than it was before. I mean, it's crazy how big it is now, but um, we had to drive actually into Minnesota in order to go grocery shopping. And so they actually brought a lot of jobs and stuff into the area. So anywho, um, let me see. Yeah, but they took my parking space. Yeah, they took away my parking space for pickup. Oh, bummer. Um, let me see. Marlene says, oh, thanks. I live in California. No snow here. Go up into the mountains. <laughs> Jason says, come to Canada. Thank you. I got this for free. My sister, we were having a garage sale a couple years ago, and she was selling it. I'm like, dude, really? Can I wear this? She's like, you can have it. I'm like, oh, my God. Yay. I love it. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, Steve, oh, wait. Hang on. Marlene says, for Wally World, I just prepare myself and I smile and say hi to all the employees I see there. I rarely go there, but when I do, it's what I try to do. Yes. Um, Jason says, I take crystals to meditate and chant in my head for patience, peace, and harmony. <laughs> yes. All right. So that's all the time I have for today. I got to run inside. Um, but if you're having a shitty life, if you're having a shitty month or a week or even a day, look at your attitude. Um, you know... A couple days ago, I was having a really shitty day. I was like, ugh, seriously? What the hell? I was getting all pissed. The internet wasn't working. I, I was just like, really? This is, and I was like, okay, wait a minute. Obviously, I'm not meant to be doing stuff. I'm not, because like the internet wasn't working. Obviously, I'm not meant to be on the internet. So what else can I do, you know? And so I started to say, okay, how, what, what do I want to do? And I did something else and it was awesome. It was amazing. And so... Look at your roadblocks, quote unquote roadblocks. Um, look at what you're going through. Look at what's going on. Look at how your attitude is towards that thing, how your preconceived notions or expectations are, and shift it. Give yourself permission to look at it differently. Give yourself permission to say, how can I find the fun in this? Or how can I find the excitement in this? Or how, you know, how, whatever. How, whatever you want to feel going into whatever it is that you're going into, whether it's Walmart or a holiday party or the post office, um, set yourself up, <laughs> excuse me, set yourself up for success by starting to think that you're going to have fun or you're going to have a very focused time. You're not going to be like, oh, oh my God, look at this, all shiny, you know, and give yourself permission to do that. Give yourself permission to just change your mind. Just decide to change your mind. And I know it's not easy. I know sometimes you don't really want to because sometimes it, you want to stay in a pissy mood and that's okay. <laughs> if you feel like staying in a pissy mood, do it because obviously there's a reason for it, but don't let yourself stay stuck in that mood. Don't let yourself stay stuck. That's hard to say. Don't let yourself stay stuck. <laughs> anyway, um, don't let yourself stay stuck in that mindset. Give yourself permission to just move into the new way of being and to a new way of thinking about something. And it's not easy. It's not. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you've made it a habit of being negative or looking at the negative or looking at certain things and then complaining about those things. So I'm not going to sit here and blow rainbows and bubbles up your butt. No. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not always easy, but all you have to do is say, you know what? I'm done being crabby. I'm done thinking about this in this way and I really want to start looking at this or thinking about this differently and just decide and it you you might you might and you will have to make a conscious effort to start changing your attitude and start changing uh, how you're going to start showing up at those places and and with those people but I'm here to tell you that you can make it happen you can do it okay I'm here for you all right if you, there's so many things we got going on. Um, 
There is a free lunch and learn how to raise your vibes for the holiday season. Um, that is Wednesday the 8th. We have the Bullshit Eliminator Quantum Shift Experience this Saturday. It's going to be epic. 11-11 at 11 a.m. for 111 people. Click all the links below. They're not going to be up just yet because, like I said, I got to do some shopping. I got to go home. But um, comment below if you want the link. Say yes. Send me the link. And I will tag you in the link below uh, whenever I get done doing all my thing. And then what else do we have going on? Um... We have our planning party coming up December 10th. It's going to be epic, our second annual planning party. I'll share more of that with you later on. But if you want to learn how to raise your vibes for the holiday, this is the perfect thing. Actually, this is the perfect lead-in for that because we can change our vibes. And when you change your vibe, you change how you think about something, you absolutely will have a completely different experience. So... Hang tight for the link. If you want the link, like I said, comment below saying, yes, send me the link. If you're watching this after the fact and the links are below, click link number one to, to um, attend the November 8th planning, or not planning party. <laughs> November 8th, Lunch and Learn, How to Raise Your Vibes to Survive the Holidays. And link number two, which is for the Bullshit Eliminator Quantum Shift Experience. Again, this is 11-11 on Saturday at 11 a.m. for 111 people. It's 111 bucks or two payments of $55.50. It's going to be epic. If you don't want to wait and you want to just go straight to my site, you can go to florasage.com, click on Now Enrolling, and then click on the Bullshit Eliminator Quantum Shift Experience. We're going to have an amazing meditation to help literally shift you into a new paradigm and a new state of being. This is a mainly energy work um, workshop. It's awesome. I'm super pumped about it. And yeah, so have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you back here tomorrow. Love you all. Bye.